Hi, it's Andy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today, we're going to work on some boutonnieres for my nephew's wedding. It's going to be in an aquarium, so it's uh, an aquatic theme. I hope you'll stay tuned. Well, my um, nephew, who I adore, is going to get married, and I'll show you what I've done so far and I thought I would just walk you through how you do it and how easy it is in case you've ever thought about being the person who makes boutonnieres these are the ones I'm making for the groomsmen and that's what I'm going to show you today and this is what I made for the groom this is a little bit different but you know we wanted his to have a little bit more pops of color so anyway here's how we're going to do it I took lollipop sticks and the ones I got are these really, really big ones. They're the biggest ones I could find. I can't tell you anything about sizes, but if you look for them, they're the biggest ones. And they're 7 inches long, so uh, that probably will help you. And you're going to want to cut them in half. So you want 3 and a half inch long pieces, and you want three of them that I hot glued together. Can you see that, that there are three in a little triangle. Then what I did is I took my carpet tape and carpet tape is double sided tape. Mine looks like this and all you do is you um, cut off. What I did was I laid my roll, I opened up my roll and I laid my three um, sticks on there so that they were the length of it and then I cut it. And then what I did is I pushed really hard on the first part to make sure it's really glued in place. Now at this point you need to take the backing off and then you're going to continue to roll it and you might have too much and if you do like at this point I have enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off the extra because I don't really want this much extra. I just think it would be too cumbersome. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way there. And also, if you have too much going over the edge on the top and the bottom, you're going to want to take that off too. And then, I took some of my ribbon and I put it in my Xyron. And a Xyron is like this. You just slide the ribbon face up down into it, pull it through, and then it becomes a sticker. And I only need enough. I'm going to, I cut this piece in half. It's probably too short, but I'm going to try and use it anyway. And what I want to do is I'm just going to take off one of these pieces, like this. I'm only going to take off. I'm going to put Hopefully, I'm in the picture now. Okay, I'm going to put it like this, and then you want to make sure that your edges are all nice and flat, and that you try and get them so that everybody's laid down exactly on top of each other like that. See what I mean? And I'm going to take my other little piece. You don't need a ton. I probably this is probably an inch long. And you want to do it on either end. One of these might not be one end might not be as straight and perfect as the other end. This is my perfect end, I'm going to call it. That I want to be the bottom and I'll show you from the grooms so you can see this. When the when the bottom is flat that's great. The top, no one sees. So what do you care about the top? So my uneven top, I'm going to hide. So I just need to make sure that I remember this is my bottom. And I'm going to take my leftover piece of carpet tape. And I'm going to roll it around this because I did this backwards. I should have done it... Um, a different way. I should have done this after I put the, I should have put my blue on and then my carpet tape. I apologize that I screwed that up because I throw you off when I do that and I don't mean to do that. So let me, I'm just taking that backing off and I'm gonna make sure that I wrap that around. That way my top and my bottom will be perfect. And 
Now this is my straight edge. So that means it's the bottom. You're going to take your ribbon and I have special scissors I just use for ribbon and has this little piece of ribbon tied to the handle. You see that little ribbon right there? That's how I know it's my ribbon scissors. And ribbon or fabric, if you ever cut paper with those scissors, it makes them dull. So you want to try not to use anything but um, ribbon or material with it. Cloth. I'm going to start at the very bottom. I'm going to wrap around. You want to make sure that this is tight and that you get that first piece really well adhered like that. Then you're going to go on an angle a little bit like this. Keep holding it and moving it so it's in a nice tight spiral. And that's why you put the carpet tape the whole length of this because as you're doing this it ensures that you're um, not going to have everything un, un um, roll. Unroll? Is that the word? I think it is. And I would also recommend if you're doing something as small as this, I would probably go with a thinner ribbon than this because I don't think you'd have these gaps like I'm having if I went with a thinner ribbon. But since I already did a few with um, this size ribbon, I thought, oh, well, if I change now, I'm really going to make a mess of it. So I decided to just go with it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my ribbon a little further like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bead of glue on this like that. And I'm going to hold this. Yeah, I got a little glue on me. What else is new? I'm going to hold it and pull it as tightly as I can and make sure that it's wrapped around that top section really tightly. Okay, next part is, so what we're going to want to do is I'm going to put that, that um, line of, uh, what do you call that? The line where I cut off the ribbon, I want to put that on the back. And then I'm going to put this right here, which is about mm, maybe an inch from the top, a little bit longer than that. So we're going to put hot glue on the back of our, of our um, seashell. Could I remember the word seashell? No, I cannot. So then we're going to take our seashell, remember to keep that little piece in the back, and we're going to hold our seashell right against that as tightly as we can. Then we need to put our starfish on here. I think that looks really good right there. I'm going to flip this over, and then I'm going to kind of lean this up a little bit so that I have a big gob of glue on the back of that um, starfish. Then I'm going to use a pin. Now when I did this the other day, I not only glued the pin, but I also used um, ribbon, no not ribbon, I used um, a needle and some thread and I basically sewed it in place. So what I did was I put black thread and I just um, put a, went through the back of my ribbon here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this into a knot at the end because I want to make sure that um, I'm able to have this well secured. Then I'm going to take this and I want the bottom of my um, pin. I'm going to un I'm going to open it up and take the pin part. This is the top of my um boutonniere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my needle through that piece 
Then I'm gonna put it, pull it tight, and I kinda know where that piece is. So then I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna go right through a little bit of the ribbon at the top, or where my other part is. I have to pull this nice and tight. So I, I have it so that my pin is as tight as I can get it, but you're going to need to then go in through another spot. I'm going to go in through, sorry, this is hard to do when I'm holding it in place and trying to do it where I'm not anywhere near the, uh, near the um, boutonniere. I'm just going to do another little um, stitch into the ribbon. So now it's it's sewn, but what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it nice and tight, but I'm also, at the same time, I'm going to put hot glue on the back of the pin, okay, and I'm going to pull it as tight as I can, and this is the most important part because I keep forgetting this and I go to put it in the bag and I realize I didn't um, tie it or put it back in the pin it shut. So there we have another one of our boutonnieres done and that makes three of them. And then I'll show you a tool that I have that I think is really handy. I got it from AliExpress. I had one that I showed you before that was better quality than this one, but I think this one was like a dollar twenty-seven. So I'm going to show you this and um, let you get a kick out of it. Um, it's not, like I say, it's not uh, the world's greatest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch my papers or my plastic together. You can use any kind of plastic. So if you have a plastic bag you want to do this with, you can. But all I'm going to do with this is I'm making the world's uh, least straight line. My line doesn't need to be straight at this juncture, clearly. And then, I know I'm not anywhere near the beginning of my line. Yep. Then, I'm just going to put this one in here, and I'm going to seal the top. And then after I do that, then I have a sticker I made that says, the end came off of it, but it says groomsman. And that way I'll know um, at a glance whose boutonnieres are who because um, I have different ones for, or different, you know, different colors and different um, looks for different people. So then I'm just going to put that word right there at the bottom and that is how I'm going to do it. So I hope that you enjoyed this in case you ever wanted to make a boutonniere and wondered how to do it. If you have a prom coming up or if you have homecoming and you want to make boutonnieres or um, corsages, I'm going to make a corsage for my sister who's the mother of the groom and I'll show you that when I do that. That's my last one because it's um, all different colors. So um, I hope you enjoyed this, that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.